gray cloudy day it's gonna be a great great gray cloudy day <sighs> well good morning it is still morning time here it's not even 12 o'clock yet it's a little after 11. <sighs> welcome to gray cloudy day the channel I am Gray Cloud, Sage of the Eternal Moment. Uh, if you can, please hit that like button. And uh, trying to get the light to strike, but who knows? Anyway, not like I'm some professional. Um, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. If you've watched a few videos and they help you, and they may help somebody else, you know, share them too, please. Okay, uh, I'm going to try to wrap do this one fairly quick um it's going to be a 50 things that really matter reading um trying to think of anything i need to say before we get into the reading remember um the other day i asked everybody to keep people in prayers here um everybody that was mentioned the other day and even in the comments several people commented um well i know of one uh person uh going through uh, he commented uh in the comments about how he's feeling depressed um i know that um be his soldiers is going through um some a little bit of some times too um teresa just had eye surgery yesterday on one of her eyes and is recovering from that today i did hear from him this morning and then um Uh, Maureen, uh, she had her uh, procedure on her to put stents in last week or whatever. Uh, so she's recovering still too. I think she'll be, she's a little better today. She'll be doing some stuff or something. Uh, shout out to Jordan. Anybody that's watching, if you're going through anything, whoever you are just know you're not alone um i'm particularly not feeling that great physically this morning um i got out yesterday did some you know i washed clothes was out and about uh of course i got paid friday and i was out and about then went to church sunday had a good day um but yesterday i was uh pretty busy most of the day it about wore me out um uh, i did sleep all right last night but i'm just not like I have been, uh, ever since I've gotten up, I've been a little lightheaded. I imagine it's probably a combination of my blood sugar from the other day, uh, eating that icing cause I didn't munch out or get no kind of bad junk food last night or nothing or yesterday. I'm really trying hard. And, uh, I got me a couple hamburgers cooked. I'm going to make something here in a minute after I make this video. Still got to get the puppies out of the room and clean their little spot up. So let's wrap this up. Uh, let's get this on. Let me get this done here because um, it does take time to put that intro at the beginning and all that and then wait for it to process. So here we go. Faith. This is number five from 50 Things That Really Matter. There's an old story about Jeb and the flood that tells us something important about faith. Old Jeb was trapped on his roof as the flood waters were rising around his house. As he sat there, a neighbor passed by in his rowboat, offering to take him to higher ground. Don't worry about me, said Jeb. I have faith. The Lord will protect me. A while later, the flood waters still rising, a rescue squad arrived in a powerboat and ordered Jeb to evacuate. No need, Jeb insisted. My faith is strong. I'll be fine. A few hours later, when the waters reached the eaves, a National Guard helicopter hovered overhead and lowered a line. But Jeb wouldn't grab hold. The Lord will provide, he said. Not too long after, Jeb's house went under and Jeb with it. When he arrived at the pearly gates, he was none too pleased. Lord, I had such faith in you, Jeb cried. How could you have abandoned me? Abandoned you? replied the Lord. What are you talking about? I sent you a, robot, a rowboat, a powerboat, and a helicopter. 
Like many of us, Jeb had great faith, but it was a faith built only upon miracles that come with flashes of light and trumpet blast. In truth, God often responds to our faith in humble, humbler ways. It might be a kind driver who let us merge when we're stressed from sitting in heavy traffic, or it could be a newspaper article that describes a support group we desperately need. Or perhaps it comes in, in a song on the radio that brings us a cherished, fortifying mirror, memory. Each day, angels visit the doorsteps of the faithful, leaving gifts that quietly offer God's grace, comfort, and protection. All we have to do is recognize them and pick them up. So, <clears throat> and I double-checked on this one. This one doesn't have a picture because that picture is at the end of the story before it. There's no picture before the story, and then it ends, and... Uh, that picture goes to this one because the next one's going to be bubble bass, um, which some people might think is funny for me to read, but I have been known to take bubble baths in the past. Sometimes I just like to do a um, Epsom salt bath if I have the ability to uh, maybe put a little soap, like bubbly, but <clears throat> just kind of lukewarm. I don't like hot, hot water, like on my showers or my baths, but... <laughs> I'm sure y'all really want to know all that. I did a little bit. I started rereading uh, out of the Bible that I've been reading from because that that little New Testament or that New Testament I got last week in the mail. It's really cool. It's got a lot of information. Like, but I think I mentioned this. Um, it's called the Recovery Bible. Now it's not based on recovery per se, like a twelve step program. It's something about it's got everything you needed to know like if you're reading it and you're kind of like not well um knowledge in it it's got all these footnotes where words came from the original text the best you know it's like kind of if somebody doesn't know a whole lot and they're trying to read the bible it could help them it's like it'd be a good study thing but it's kind of smaller print and I've read uh, off and on all my life out of the scriptures. So, and in the past year, you know, I've done the whole read from beginning to end pretty much, and um, just recently finished it. So today, I wasn't starting from the very beginning. I'm just kind of reading some psalms and uh, some things that I'd never noticed before. You know, like uh, I don't know. Just it's interesting for me uh, to be seeing something that I know at some point I've read in my past, but retaining things sometimes was the difficulty. Like I could, but you know, I like to have certain books, especially spiritual texts, uh, whether it's Christian or not. Um, I always like to keep, a, if it's really influenced me and it, it makes sense to me, even if it's simplistic, I still think it's uh, necessary for me to keep a few copies or I like to have a copy of certain books always if I can. Now, from time to time, I end up with nothing uh, physically in my possession anymore and uh, accumulate more stuff again. But that's what I'm doing with the, the Joel S. Goldsmith, which I've only had one of his books back in the day and I uh, maybe two, but that now I've got four or five of them. Uh, the, the four and five agreements, uh, I've had many different copies of the four agreements and a few copies of the fifth agreement, which I have the fifth agreement now. Um, I have one that I haven't yet to open. That's a Toltec wisdom book called the mastery of love. I've read it before, had a couple of different copies in my past. I just haven't opened it up out of the actual package that it came in last week because uh, right now I'm like, I, I've showed you all I'm reading two different books uh, simultaneously uh, by Joel S. Goldsmith. And they're really helping me. I haven't read from them this morning. I started off some scripture today. I hadn't done that in a few days. Just actually straight from the bibliosis. So anyway, like I said, I'm, I'm not feeling the tip-top shape. I'm not feeling the best uh, uh, physically today. So I'm going to gauge on uh, how much more I'm going to do. Um, I am going to eat something. Like I said, I got a couple burgers patties made um eat a little something see if that makes me feel better and then uh whew, 
try to just relax for a little while. Like I do have to clean up the room, the floor in the room, but the puppies are asleep right now. So I'm going to let them, I think I'll let them wait till they start stirring again. Maybe move them. Yesterday they got caught up under the porch and that wasn't fun. Getting down nearly on my belly, having to reach up under there and get them. So I may just try to put them in the living room today and clean that area up real quick. Put them a new cover down. Uh, I did pick up a couple new uh, things I can use for them to lay on uh, at the thrift store yesterday while I was washing clothes. Okay, let's end it because this is going to take a minute. Till next time, you know who I am, I think. Anyway, I'm Gray Cloud, Shades of the Eternal Moment. Over and out. Ditto.